<laughs> so we're in uh, Tel Aviv, second round of rehearsals with John Lundvik from Sweden. How are you? I'm really good. We're sitting in a really warm room, but now it feels better. I got a little thing going on here. <laughs> so nice. <laughs> yeah, it's so nice. Um, you were close to winning last year. And then you came back to uh, to Melody Festival. What made you decide to to go back? I was sitting in a room with Anders Vredhov, who also I wrote the song with, uh, and uh, Andrea Stone. And they looked at me and said, shouldn't you do Melody Festival and just one more time? And since I came third, I was a little bit nervous, because third is a really good position. So it's a huge risk. And uh, then we found the chorus. I could be the sun that let you dark. And it felt so naturally just going with it. So here I am doing your vision. <laughs> Now it's your turn. <laughs> yeah. And how does your vision feel so far? It is so much joy. It's so huge in every aspect. The Melody Festival is really huge, but this is on a whole nother level. Uh, but it feels so good. I'm sharing it with the mamas, you know, the choir. And we are a big delegation from, from Sweden that we can share this love with. So it's it's been a good ride. It's all love. <laughs> yeah, it is. It really is. One of the things that makes your song unique, uh, in my opinion, is the gospel singers. Yeah. Uh, how did you figure out uh, that you wanted them to come along? It's a good question. I called Paris, who's one of the choirs in the back. And uh, I said to her, you know, I need four really nice gospel singers. <laughs> Can you find them? And she asked, how long do we have? We have five days. <laughs> So she created magic in, in one week and she found these girls and we rehearsed and all of a sudden it was like a family. I really loved them. And now you've been on stage for the for the second time. Is yeah. is everything good? Everything is fantastic. So, everything, yeah. yeah, I'm so happy. And uh, you're in a special position this year. You are actually competing against yourself. Yeah. How does that feel? <laughs> it is unique. It's never been done before, I think. And um, you know, he's doing a ballad. I wrote the song for UK. And Michael Rice is a great singer, great person. I wish him all the best. But he's doing a ballad and I'm doing an up-tempo song. So I don't really feel like we're competing against each other. But uh, all the best. He's going to do a rehearsal tonight. So I'm going to text him. Good luck. Yeah, do that. Um, one of you, oh no, another thing, uh, your song Too Late for Love, um, it's actually about the opposite thing. Uh, could you could you tell us more? She She's done her homework, this one. She's done her homework. No, but it, I wanted to do a positive song because I'm a positive guy and I think that maybe I'm a little bit naive, but I think that everything is fixable with love. And... Um, That's what the song is about. It's never too late for love. 